Hey everyone, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Today I'm going to do a video on siphoning, um, the basic form of siphoning, the really manual, tedious way. I haven't yet bought an auto siphon, it's probably going to be a future purchase of mine, but for the time being I have to make do with this. So if you have a similar system where you just simply have a racking cane and some plastic tubing for racking your beer over for your fermenter to your bottling bucket on bottling day, then this video hopefully might be of some use. So I've got my stainless steel pot here with the racking cane and the sanitising solution, and I've got my tap. If I just let some water drain into this pipe, hopefully, if science is on my side today, what you're going to start to notice is that it's going to start bubbling. There we go, there's a little bit of bubbling action. And all I do now is I cap my finger over the end. If I move this whole thing over to this pint glass and I lift it up high enough, watch what's going to happen. It's going to start drawing liquid away from that pint glass and the pint glass is going to drain and you can hear there it's reached the bottom. Virtually all the liquid is drained out of that pint glass now. Um, to be honest, I don't know the physics of this. I really don't know why it does it, it just does. It's very, very simple, and you're going to need to use this process when you come to siphoning your beer over to your bottling bucket. So hopefully, when we do this again in a moment with our beer, you can see this in full swing and see it in action. There's one other little thing, and that's that of course sanitising solution is going to come out first because we do exactly what we just did, trap some sanitising solution, take the racking cane, dunk it into the beer, take the other end and release that into the bottling bucket. So the first thing that's going to come out is sanitising solution. That's why we have this pint glass on hand. Basically, um, the first runnings, if you want to call them that, uh, of sanitising solution, we drain off into here. As soon as the beer starts to come through, we move it over into the bottling bucket and we let it drain through. But you'll see that in action in a minute. This is the bit which uh, I do find to be a little bit nerve shattering. Because in my books you've got one shot to get it right. And if you don't, you're putting your beer at risk. I'm going to remove the airlock now. We've also got a paddling stick ready for just very, very lightly stirring in that priming sugar. Don't want to overdo it. Don't want to cause any oxidisation by stirring too vigorously at this stage. So, exactly what we just did a moment ago. Get some water into here. Run this off with sanitising solution instead. In fact, before we do this, we need to take both lids off here. The grand uncovering. Get our sanitising solution in the Guinness glass. Very precarious. Start to drain some of this out. Good, we've got a nice solid. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Right, this is it guys. This is it. I'm just going to very quickly dunk the racking cane and part of this back into some of our deeper sanitising solution to make sure that that's nice and clean. Perfect. In we go. Not too deep down the bottom, we don't want to start siphoning out any trub. So I'm going to start pretty shallow toward the top just to begin with. Right, here we go everybody. 
So the sanitizing solution is going to come out as soon as it transitions over to beer, then it's going straight in the bucket, bucket with no splashing whatsoever. We're going to try and do this as best as possible. And it's beer. Taking that right down to the bottom. Good solid siphon. That's siphoning for you guys. Um, you're not going to want to watch this whole process. Um, it is, it's quite slow. It is quite slow. You're going to need a lot of patience. Don't let the bottling one drift too near toward the bottom. Otherwise you're going to pick up some of that trub and hot residue. If you can, take quite a thick book and prop up your fermenter at an angle so that you can get that last two litres or so, that last half a gallon out of your fermenter without introducing any too much trub into the bottling bucket. Happy Homebrew Wednesday guys, thanks for watching.